When you think about it, travel by train really kicked off the American vacation experience. In the 19th century, travelers stopped for meals at stations along the way. And later, onboard kitchens supplied gourmet offerings. Well, today, Amtrak is keeping that tradition alive with some unique meals on some special trains. These are the familiar sights and sounds of train travel. The power and energy of the huge engines, the beehive of passenger activity at the station, the all aboard and sheer anticipation of the coming adventure, riding the rails. But this is the part most train travelers never see. The sun's barely up and already, dozens of Amtrak employees have been working for hours loading these trains with everything from vegetables to juices, dinner items to dessert. Each year, Amtrak buys close to $50 million worth of food and beverage products to satisfy its 28 million passengers. When that train is stocked in the morning, we load over 45,000 individual food and beverage items on board that train. Amtrak's Thomas Hall says trucks deliver those food supplies from farms and factories to 13 different warehouses in major American cities, like this one in Los Angeles. From the warehouse, it's loaded on dining cars. More than 300 Amtrak trains depart from stations across the U.S. each day, carrying close to 80,000 passengers. A lot of hungry riders. For instance, we buy over 200,000 gallons of fruit juice a year. 120,000 quarts of milk, over 800,000 uh, hamburgers a year, 300,000 chickens. Not to mention 300,000 steaks, 660,000 hot dogs, a half million tomatoes, and about 200,000 freshly made salads. Well, I think what Amtrak does best is to provide American comfort food Amtrak style. Daniel Malzahn. Amtrak's executive chef says there's a new effort underway to select only the freshest, best quality food products. And for Amtrak, that usually means buying American. I think America uh, produces certainly some of the absolute best food in the world. There's no question about that. A great food can only uh, spring from great ingredients. It supports the American economy. It also gives us the freshest products available and I think it also gives us the highest quality products available for our customers on board the train. We do design and tailor the food to specific routes and uh, we have some very vibrant partners that we work with in that process. I'd like the Angus Steak Burger, please. Those partners may include Colorado cattle ranchers, Michigan cucumber growers, crab cakes from Maine fishermen. On this coast starlight route from Los Angeles to Seattle, passengers may dine on Washington State salmon. Oregon and California cheeses, and lettuce and tomatoes grown in fields right outside their window. Yeah, I'm definitely surprised at the quality. Um, when we took the airplane, it was like, you didn't get anything but this little package of trail mix, but um, this is fantastic. David and Patricia Inglehart are regular Amtrak riders. The Delaware couple is celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary by enjoying Amtrak's restored parlor car with its five-star restaurant atmosphere. Quality-wise, just as good and faster. Uh, when they walk through the dining car and they smell breakfast in the morning or in the afternoon, they smell the fresh roasted chickens uh, in the ovens down below. It really gives a sense that they're at a fine dining establishment. And uh, the Chardonnay sounds good. That chicken special sounds really good. To please all these particular passengers, it's a balancing act, literally. Preparing gourmet meals in a tiny galley on a moving train. Hundreds of meals, three times a day. Little wonder folks are surprised at how tasty it all turns out. In the food business, going back to the beginning, it's all about the product. And the American farmer uh, is responsible uh, for bringing us those great selections. 